Right, Norbert. Before I tell you actually how to install MEV Boost for on DAP node, let's have a quick look on the effect of MEV Boost. So currently, without any, any MEV Boost installed, so if I propose a block now from DAP node, which I build myself basically, without MEV Boost, I'm getting about 0 0.03. ETH. So if that means if ETH is a thousand dollars, I would get thirty dollars for the proposal, or I have been getting thirty dollars roughly. Now, if you install MEV package, you have several options what what to to choose. Um, Flashbots uh, is the one called compliant. Later on, you'll see that Bloxroot Max Profit is the one called non-compliant, and Bloxroot Ethical is the one called ethical. And these are actually not in there. You can put them in, but uh, yeah, I'm not really showing you how, I'm just hinting at it. Anyway, so uh, here you see the average block value. So if you have Flashbots installed, uh, the MEV boosts with Flashbots, which look at the Flashbot relay, then instead of $30, you would get $187 or, you know, 0 0.187 ETH. And here are the other values. So you can uh, see uh, what you would get and then choose accordingly. I will choose ethical, more about that later. But okay, enough of a preamble, let's uh, dive into installing it on that note. Thanks to Unreal Gamer 28, but much more thanks to Napsku actually, who created the package and is so active in the community, oh, helping everyone. I don't know when that guy sleeps. Thank you. Um, now I've, you know, this morning I posted a question, how does it actually work on that note? And 11 minutes later, Unreal Gamer 28 came up with this very concise and helpful description, which is only possible because of an app school. Anyway, let's jump into it. So let's make sure to, uh, that Prism is up to date. Prism and Geth packages. Prism. So you want to check that you have the latest version. Currently, this is the latest, which obviously obviously will be different in the future, depending on when, when you watch this video. But uh, so if there's any, any update uh, prompt, then make sure it's updated. Then you go to the, to the DAP store. Well, you can either click on here. This will be in the, in the link below the video. Or you go here and then go to the public repository. It's not in here, in this one, because the DAP node team hasn't had enough time to check Napsco's package. So yeah, in a way we do rely on him being an honest actor, I suppose. Um, I'm taking the risk for sure. So MEV boost, here it is. If you can't find it, if there are too many packages, just type in MEV and then it uh, comes up. So let's get it. Now, Unreal Gamer 28 pointed out that for some people, the uh, public repository just simply doesn't work. And uh, if that's the case for you, then then uh, just follow the link uh, in in the Discord uh, channel from him, which I showed earlier, um, or and it's uh, in the description as well. Right. Now this is the Mev Boost package and you should be really careful uh, with packages from the public repository because anyone can program anything and they can uh, steal and hack your private keys and everything so you have to be sure this is uh, signed which you see here uh, by someone you know and trust in this case the napsco which we trust and we know it's him because we're in touch with him on discord so i'm uh, that's the only reason I know really um, that it's him. So be very careful with the public repository. Uh, right, so let's hit install. We are going to install it on mainnet and not on the other test nets, or I'm going to. You do whatever you like. And now there are three options here. This is choosing you know, what kind of transactions you are comfortable with having 
in the block you are going to propose. So ethical is you do not participate in MEV that features front running and other unethical MEV behavior. Like, yeah, this front running or sandwich attacks and all that stuff. That's definitely what I'm going to go for ethical. Um, compliant would be, you know, this OFAC tornado, tornado cache sanctions. So if you have the, the compliant one, I guess if you're in the US, you have to use the compliant one because, um, then, well, you don't have to, but if you want to be OFAC conform, then uh, then you have to choose that. Or non-compliant is, so it just don't, don't do any filtering, which means you uh, you get probably the most fees, you know, maximizing return, but can you sleep at night uh, with those front running and sandwich attacks in the transactions you are approving or even proposing onto the net? Anyway, up to you. I'll choose ethical. We don't have to do anything in uh, MEV relays uh, because um, we're choosing the, the predefined relay, which is the ethical up there. Uh, but if you wanted to use your own um, relays or other other relays, uh, then you can actually put them in, in that field. But then you have to choose uh, the, the other option. And off we go submit and here careful 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 and so on and there we go this is installed so let's have a look what's next so we've chosen mainnet we hit the install button and now we have to go to the prism package and enter a few uh, enter these extra options so you either click on this link, again, it's down in the description, or you just go to Packages, Prism, or whatever you have. I'm not quite sure how similar it will be on other packages, on uh, other consensus clients. But uh, yeah, maybe I can do another video of that. Put it in the comments. So config and then go to show advanced editor and in here in the beacon chain extra options that's what he says beacon chain extra opts you want to put in this make sure it's exactly this again it's in the description it's a double dash or double minus at the beginning so i've copied that oh, i've copied that in the let's do this copy that node and then here, if you have something in there, like I have, then have one space and then paste it in there. And that is the one option we need to do. And the other option you want to do is validator extra options here, enter value. And I suppose it's just that copy. Let's do that. Enter here. Paste. Now hit update. Update Prism. And then going to packages, going to MIF boost, going to the logs. Yeah, there are the logs and the state is 200 at the N means all good. The 205 means there had been an error. The, the relay wasn't reachable, but that only happens once in five hours or so. So I should be all right. But uh, yeah, as long as it's 200, it should be fine. Maybe keep an eye on it. If it doesn't work properly, maybe go rather than ethical. Uh, you choose one of the others and see how they Go. So this is blocks root, ethical is blocks root, compliant is the flashbots one, and non-compliant is again the uh, um, max profit from blacks root. So yeah, okay, and then obviously one very important thing you have to have in place as well is the, the um, 
fee recipient address. So in here, you need to have your address where those fees from the block proposal go. Uh, if you do not have an address here, you have to set one, you know, create one with your wallet, uh, MetaMask, for instance, you create a explicit new address. Okay, that's pretty much it. If you want me to, to make videos about something uh, in particular, uh, regarding this topic, then let me know in the comments. I'm planning on making a video which explains a little bit more about uh, how block building works and who does what and uh, transactions and gas fees and MEV boost, so how it all fits together. If that's interesting, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try to do that. Okay, bye bye.